So who are we, Pioneer Natural Resources? Uh, Pioneer Natural Resources is a large Texas-based independent exploration and production company that is focused on helping to meet the world's energy needs. We deliver industry-leading production and reserve growth through onshore unconventional oil and gas resource development in the United States. While providing opportunities for growth and enrichment for our business partners, employees, and communities in which we operate. Um, some of our, uh, our, our only, our main focus of production now, uh, Pioneer's advanced technology track record of strong execution and growth and integrated services model have made us an industry leader in new and developing resource plays with approximately 750,000 gross acres and one of the world's largest rich oil shale plays. Pioneer can continue to grow economically, economically grow production and reserves for years to come. So starting this journey um, on the, uh, with the analytical tools, uh, you know, we have ignition, we have different tools, but some of the things we, we looked at and focused on, um, you know, time to imp implement, how soon can we get, you know, something back from this product? Uh, longevity of the technology, um, organizational alignment, and then, uh, you know, single platform or multiple platform adoption. Um, some of the objectives, uh, provide tools for everyone, from the engineer in the office to the you know lease operator out in the field, uh, making the rounds. Um, serve analytical to uh, serve analytics to untapped customers, and then first line of insight to the process. You know, putting putting a value to that data, immediate immediate impact, and you know, getting into the processing and un understanding it. Um, the application that we chose to kind of go along with some of the other tools that we have in place uh, with Ignition, Spotfire, and different things. Um, Seek on, on top of Ignition was a great fit. Um, you know, it, it gets the, the data in front of the subject matter experts, um, you know, teams and managers. Um, the, the impact was almost immediate, and we'll go into that here in a little bit. Uh, time to insight, access to insights, you know, the right person, the right insight. Um, Big data, machine learning, uh, we're, we're progressing, we're advancing in that. Uh, we're starting to see some, some benefits there. And then, uh, you know, time series data, analog signals, IoT, and industry. Uh, Seek was just a great fit for what we have, and, and it meshed well. So early on, um, as, as soon as we went live with Seek, at the time I was a rotating equipment specialist with Pioneer, uh, took it back to the office, uh, Brian put on a, I don't know, a 10 minute crash course with the tool. I took it in and started compiling data, uh, trying to look at, you know, what, how can I use this? So at the time we, we, we look at all downtime events. I mean, our job is to keep the compressors online, put the oil in the tank and keep the product moving. So I started focusing in on some of the downtime, the repetitive downtime events, um, looking at those and then, <clears throat> you know, just started to overlay trends and seek looking at combustion cylinder temperatures, um, you know, engine emission, NOx emissions, manifold pressures, different things. And, and quickly I was able to point out, and I think it was the first couple of weeks, um, you know, a valve that was about to, to well, let me, let me re retract that. Um, I saw an issue in that combustion cylinder. So we zoomed in on it. I sent a maintenance crew out there. We shut the piece of equipment down. Uh, conducted a compression test and found a, a valve that was beginning to fail. So, you know, from day one, we were able to start to look at things at a whole new level and then just overlay trends and data in a, in a new way. Um, on the gas lift compressor optimization on a single unit, uh, once again, we were able to just, just look at data in a different way. Ignition is very powerful, but with Seek, it just it brought it to light. Um, and and the, the trending abilities and the ability to go grab what you need and, and quickly assess, um, it just it made it much easier. So on the on the gas lift compressor optimization single unit, we're we're drilling new wells. Um, you know that that one unit's starting to reach its limits. What can we push it a little harder? Can we get a little bit more? So, you know, on some of those applications, we're injecting, uh, you know, six to ten million, and we need that eleven or twelve. Can can we get it out of this unit? So with Seek, I was able to do a deep dive, uh, fill confidently say, you know, we can do it with this unit and, and push back the set of that, that next one. 
And then uh, ad hoc analysis. There's a lot of times, um, you know, we'll just get in a room with engineers. Uh, we'll get some operations folks uh, on the line and, uh, you know, just start brainstorming and throwing, uh, what, you know, different trends, different data on the board. And with Seek, it, it just, it, it makes it easy to sit and have that session and, and you know, real-time use, I guess. <clears throat> so moving beyond the pilot, um, you know, it was great. Uh, great tool. We had big wins early on. How do we, how do we expand it? Uh, how do we scale it across hundreds of thousands of compressors, meters, valves, you know, and then hundreds of engineers, uh, analysts, and subject matter experts? Uh, how do we take this full scale and, and you know, get the bang for the buck? Um, and then what is the architecture? Uh, ignition historians with process data, and then uh, monitoring ignition server performance. Um, and then, you know, the enterprise rollout, um, our, our uh, chief technology officer, um, he was very heavily involved in a lot of the, you know, early on stages of, of looking at these analytical tools, seeing what's out there. Um, we had some champions in-house that, you know, were willing to look at the different options and, and you know, take the risk, spend a little money and, and give it a shot. And with, with Seek, it was, you know, an immediate return on investment and, you know, it, it amazed me is how, how involved upper level management was in this whole process of, of, you know, looking at the tools available. And then on the, you know, on, on the lower end, the training sessions and identified use cases where SEEK could provide immediate, immediate impact. So like I said before, as soon as we got it in the door, got it in the hands of the engineers, um, all the way down to the lease operators, uh, we saw value in it. Um, why did it work? Um, it's built for people needing the insight. Um, like I said before, great visual feedback. Um, and not only with the visual feedback, the tools that it provides, you know, capsules, quick searches for, uh, you know, anything out of line, um, the data science tools for the analyst, and then uh, successful use cases with uh, immediate return on investment. So some of the use cases, I'd, I'd like to go more into detail, but uh, kind of limited what I could put up here. Uh, the dump valve detection uh, in the Permian Basin on, the, on our gas lift side, we might have 30, 40 wells per kind of battery. So we inject on the wells to return the oil back to the battery. Anything in that system that fails, you know, normally we have lease operators or we're trying to monitor with ignition, alarms, different things. It's just you're looking at so many pieces of equipment, um, it's hard to cover it all. And you, you don't want just redundant alarms where you're wasting people's time. So, you know, with Seek, you're able to build kind of these models to go after and identify these problems. So on the dump valve, um, I'll go into the use case here. So the challenge is to identify a dump valve failure um, for test separators and bulk separators in the field. Uh, correlate pattern, the the solution, correlate patterns and separator oil, water and gas meters to detect dump valve failures. And the results, um, we prevented excessive pressure to, you know, the tank battery itself, um, excessive runtime on the BRUs, that's the vapor recovery units, and uh, prevented excessive running of, of the vapor recovery units. So, you know, when you're talking hundreds of sites, thousands of valves, um, you're not going to catch this stuff every day, and, and it's, it made it a lot easier to go identify these problems and then put that lease operator or that mechanic on the problem where we're not, you know, wasting time just driving around the field, stuff like that. Uh, one of the other use cases, uh, ESP failure prediction. Um, you know, the challenge, use SCADA data to identify and possibly predict ESP failures once again. If you have alarms or you know just redundant type uh, notifications coming in, you're gonna you're gonna numb the, the audience to the notifications. So uh, we needed ways to identify that faster. So identify changes in parameters such as motor current, temperature, intake pressure, and frequency that may indicate independent impending failure. And the result improved workforce efficiency. Identify ESPs operating outside of design and avoid costly failures. 
And then the compression system optimization. Um, once again, you know, at, at, with gas lift, um, I'll go through this first. Uh, the challenge to optimize operations of gas lift uh, compression system from battery to well pad. Uh, the solution was to monitor on the entire compression system to identify possible cascading failures before they happen. Impro improved reliability of entire compression system, uh, reducing the number of system-wide downtime events. So, you know, a lot of times on gas lift or um, ESP or whatever it may be, that system is all interdependent. It's a, it's a control loop. So, you know, if we focus on one well and we optimize one well, that's not really a big win. If we, foc if we focus on the whole system and understand that system as a, as a control loop and optimize the entire system, then that's a, that's a big win. So how do we look at all of it? I mean, you've got, uh, you know, 30, 40 injection valves, and then you've got compressors coming back to the battery, and then the, you know, the product going into the tank. So, uh, you know, with Seek, we're able to build, you know, the models once again, put everything on one trend, and start to understand that, that system-wide operation and not just individual well operation. So stabilize the system and then, you know, smooth out productions and, and a lot more product hits the tanks. Uh, some of the benefits, uh, you know, tens of millions annually from the improved business and operational outcomes, including Im improved uh, SME engineer productivity, uh, faster time to insight, and that was previously inaccessible from all types of operational data. And to me, um, you know, I'm kind of behind the scenes, but I can get in the weeds with the operators, operators or mechanics or whoever it is, and I can have that conversation because I'm, you know, I'm looking at the data right in front of me, and uh, it enables me, empowers me to uh, have that conversation with the end user or, uh, you know, the engineers back in the office or uh, management or whoever it may be. Uh, production increases and MPT prevention, uh, maintenance events, equipment failures, etc., improves the ability to capture, retain prize know-how from increasingly scarce uh, subject matter experts. And, you know, that is a, that is a challenge we're facing um, uh, with, with, with the big generational gap in the oil field kind of rolling out and a bunch of young guys coming in. Uh, we're, we're losing a lot of valuable experience and knowledge in that aspect. And then uh, predictive asset models, teams, uh, collaboration and publishing. The uh, next steps, um, seek journals, uh, seek topics, and then uh, implement an agile approach to update reports and analysis. So, you know, like some of the, the most recent reports, uh, in the Permian we've got several hundred uh, units out there on the compression side, injecting uh, several million cubic feet of gas daily so, you know, how do we monitor that equipment without the redundant alarms? So I've got a, a SEEK report that hits my desk every morning that's got, you know, uh, hours of operation above 90% load. And then from there, I've got a quick tab. I can go into the, the built-out uh, model in SEEK and start to analyze that. And, you know, daily we're, we're pushing these tools to the hands of the operators so we can build these models. And, th and it's hitting their email, their inbox every single morning. So... You know, it's, it's great for me to be able to do it, but Seek's a tool that we can get, you know, to the end user uh, pretty quick. So it's, it's been very helpful in that matter. And that's all I got. Thank you for your time.